for the sun. We all know that, right? So sit tall on your floor, your yoga mat. the sun. I can do anything and have lots of fun. Reach, reach, reach for a cloud. Take a piece of cloud and put it in my belly button. Reach, reach, reach for your dream. Reach, reach, reach for the sun. I am happy being me. Touching, feeling, all I see. Reach, reach, reach for the cloud. Take a piece of light, jelly, put it in my smiling belly. Reach, reach, reach for your dream. Reach, reach, reach for the sun. I am happy being me. Touching, feeling, all I see. Reach. on his big drum as, as we do our mantra. Mantras are special words that we say over and over that have very important meaning to us. And we're saying, I am happy and I am good. So get your pointer fingers ready, keep your elbows tucked in, and let's go do it together. I am happy, I am good. I am happy, I am good. I am, I am, I am happy. I am, I am, I am good. And whisper. It's time to think it, don't say it. your strong voice. I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. I am. I am. I am happy. I am. I am. I am good. Great. So now it's time to listen to our singing bowl, our centering time. We teach our bodies to be still and quiet. So I am going to ring the singing bowl. Can you hear it? Make the quiet sound. Just to remind you to be still and quiet. Open your eyes, take in a big breath. Give yourself a hug and a pat on the back. One more big breath in, another hug and a pat on your back. And you know how Medi Teddy is. By the way, Medi Teddy wants to show you his new shirt he has today. Everyone see, it's his spring shirt. He wanted to wear it 
when he visited his friends in yoga today. So Maddie Tat is going to ring his singing bowl and we'll do the quiet sound again. Open your eyes, taking a big breath like Medi Teddy. Give yourself a hug and a pat on the back. Good job, Medi Teddy. So, since our toddler friends are with us today, we are going to do. Yes, Kevin reminds me we should do the breathing ball. Sorry. <clears throat> now, if our toddler friends were with us when I open it up like this, you guys would say, big and when then when I close it you will go little so if you want to say that big <clears throat> and little wow. but we're also learning how to do belly breathing so put your hands on your belly when you breathe in make your belly big like the ball breathe in like Mr. Kevin let it out little belly big belly breathe in little belly Breathe out. Very good. So now we're going to do our special songs that we always do with our toddler friends. We get Medi Teddy up here to help us. And the first one we like to do is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Medi Teddy, hold it for us, please. So you're going to get your arms out to the side, twinkle your stars, and let's sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Reach out, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And if we were at your school, everybody would go, yay! We like to do that. And another song we like to do is about the moon, half moon. So Medi Teddy's going to hold it for us. <clears throat> and we'll do one hand up and one touches the floor. Ready? Half moon. Half moon, go the other way. Half moon, half moon. And our last one that we love the most, I think, is the sun. And this has been working today because I noticed as we've been singing, the sun has come into our yoga room here. It's pretty cool. So I think we should stand up and do this and Kevin will fix the screen so you guys can see me standing. Okay, there we go. So stand tall in mountain pose. Your feet are together parallel. They look like number 11 if you look down. So we're going to reach up, get some sunshine, and go ha! Try it again. Breathe in. Big breath. Ha! And this will be your loudest time. Breathe in. Ha! Very good. So let's have a seat now. I got it there. I'm afraid if I open the door, the kids. I know. Okay, so today, yes, today we're getting ready to do the shimmy now. <laughs> so sit with your legs long out, just like me and Manny Teddy. Get his long legs straight. If we were at your school, Mr. Kevin would be looking at the list of names <laughs> and tell us whose turn it was because he always wants to be fair. All right, so legs long out in front of you. This is called a shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, high, shimmy, shimmy, low. Shimmy, shimmy, in the pot, nine days old. Shimmy, shimmy, high, shimmy, shimmy, low. Shimmy, shimmy, in the pot, nine days old. Lift your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders down. Take your shoulders in your car all around the town. Lift your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders down. Take your shoulders in your car all around the town. Clap your hands together. 
travel really fast. Need some energy, need some energy, and breathe. now and move this table out of the frame. You can see me better. There we go. So I think we are all so excited that it's springtime and it's getting a little bit sunnier, maybe a little bit warmer every now and then here in Syracuse. So when we think of spring, I think of eggs. So I brought these eggs in with us today. And actually, when we think of eggs, we think sometimes of hope. Something new and something good is about to happen. In the springtime, we know there are a lot of animals come from eggs, like birds and ducks and uh, snakes and bugs. So all of these creatures are being born, and it, we are very excited about that. Other things that happen that are very hopeful have to do with all of our flowers and trees. So I brought these eggs so I could reach in and open them. Inside, there's a yoga pose we're going to do that has something to do with hope and springtime. Let's see what this one says. This says tree. Yep, there are a lot of trees that are budding. Some of them are getting flowers on them. So let's do the tree pose together, everyone. Stand up and mountain. Here we go. So you're going to put your hands at your heart. Back. Turn your leg out to the side, but leave your foot on the floor. Get your balance, look at something not moving. When you're ready, grow your tree. And if you feel really strong and brave, <clears throat> you can lift one foot up. I think I am a dogwood tree because I'm from North Carolina and that's our state tree. They're so beautiful. Bring your hands back to your heart. <clears throat> Let's do it on the other side. Turn the other leg out to the side. Keep your toe on the floor so you don't fall. Look at something not moving. Grow your tree. Let that foot come up a little bit. And there you are. If you start to fall, you can touch the wall behind you or your parent as you practice balancing. Great, you can come back. Let's see what other words are in my eggs. This is a pretty purple egg. This one says, whoop, rabbit. Wow, lots of baby rabbits are being born. They don't come from eggs, but they're hopping all around reminding us it's springtime. So for the rabbit pose, you're going to sit down like me, grab your hands from behind like this. I'm gonna put my head on the floor. My arms are gonna come up like rabbit ears and I'm gonna raise my bottom too. Watch this and you can copy me. Is it John? And then sit back up. That's a rabbit pose. You know what? There's a rabbit breath too. The rabbit breath, we're going to sniff in three times. And then on the fourth time, we're going to blow it out. I'll get up closer so you can see this. It looks like, and I'm going to move my nose like a bunny rabbit. It looks like this. 
And again, my nose. So for the teachers and parents in this class, that's an important breath to help us really wake up our brain for learning something new. We're very alert from the sniffing, but we're really calm when we let it out. That's the best way to learn new way to be to learn something new. Very alert, but calm at the same time. So let's try it together. Sniff in three times and let it out. One more time. Great. Let's see what's in this bag. Something about hope in spring. Oh, it says flower. So we'll start by doing the flower breath called the lotus. So you put your hands together in front of your heart. You're going to open it up. You're going to keep your thumbs together and your pinky finger and your wrists. This is what it looks like. So you breathe in and smell and let it out. Try again. Breathe in and let it out. Very calming breath. Breathe in one more time. And let it all the way out. So let's do the flower yoga pose. So for this, you're going to sit back like me, bend your knees, open your legs up, arms go up, and then between your legs. Here's the hard part, go under your legs, and then you're gonna sit back and balance the flower pose. So you balance and you have to have a strong belly so you don't fall over, it's hard. And then sit back. Oh, here's a pink egg. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, it says bird. So birds do come from eggs. And Kevin's been noticing in our yard that lots of birds are building nests around. And soon the baby birds will be born. So let's do the bird pose. So again, we're gonna stand up in mountain. Here we are. Here you are in mountain. You're gonna lift your arms up, but bend your elbows like me, and my hands are flapping like this. These are my little birdie wings. And then I'm gonna put one leg in front and go tweet, 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 and put it down. That's a balancing pose. It's really hard. I'm gonna lift the other leg, arms up, get your wings ready, put that leg in front, tweet, tweet. Tweet. If you want to fly away, off you go. Using warrior, whoops, warrior three. Great. So another bird that's busy with nest and taking care of its eggs now is the eagle. So we can do the eagle pose. Open up your eagle arms really wide. Come to the center, let the elbows meet and wrap around. That's pretty hard, huh? So the eagle likes to fly away. So we're going to do something called flap eagle fly. I'm going to flap my hands, lift up my back leg in warrior three, and off we go. Great. Let's try it again. Open your arms up big. This time the other arm comes on top. Bend at the, el bend at the elbows, flap. If you want to fly away, let that back leg go up. Flap eagle fly. And then back. That's hard. I bet everyone's doing a great job. See, so here is a really cool orange egg, and it says butterfly. Wow, talk about hope. Those little butterflies start out as caterpillars, and they're hoping they get to grow into a beautiful butterfly, and we hope to see them in our garden soon. So I'm going to sit down, put my feet together. I'm going to clap them to be sure they're in the right place. Grab your feet, pull them in close, and flap your butterfly wings. That'll really stretch out your hips and legs. If you want to be really brave, put some antenna on and flap everything. Oh man, that's hard to sit up like this. Beautiful butterflies. Another simple symbol of hope. Ooh, here's the white one. 
The white one says rain. In the springtime, we get lots of rain. Sometimes we get a little tired of so much rain, but we do need it in our lakes and rivers and all the plants that are growing. So this is a partner pose. We're going to invite the kids to be with their parents. Maybe the parents would like to do this first and the kids can receive some massage. We'll pretend Kevin is my child. <laughs> <laughs> down he goes. He's gonna get going down toward child's pose and my hand could be on his back. I'm sitting next to him. So here we go. Copy me, grown-ups. One time there was a child and their friend walking down the path in the garden. And they noticed that it was really warm and sunny, but soon there were clouds that came around and they were gathering all around. And the next thing you know, it was raining. I feel raindrops, my back it started raining harder. It even thundered, don't hit too hard. And there was lightning, oh no. And the children were so scared, they started to run. But soon, this breeze came and blew the clouds away. Very light lane, raindrops that went away. And then the sun came out, they felt warm on their backs. So they gave each other a big hug. Mm. So glad you're walking with me today. So now you're gonna uh, trade places. Now the grown-ups can be like Mr. Kevin and the child can sit next to their parent. And I'll tell the story again. Once upon a time, there were two friends walking through the garden and they noticed how warm the sun was on their back. But soon there were a lot of clouds coming around and they felt raindrops. They felt a lot of raindrops. Oh no! And then there was thunder, and even lightning. They were scared, so they ran. Oh no! But soon the clouds moved away, the raindrops went away, and the warm sun came out on their back. They gave each other a big hug. Mm. So glad you're my friend. And you can sit up. I'm looking at the time. So guys, we're getting to the end of our class and sometimes we get to have a little relaxation and at school when we do that, I have little duckies to go in your belly. You may not have a ducky at home, so you can use your stuffed animal. I brought mine somewhere here. And my little bunny I brought, because when I lie down, I'm gonna put bunny on my belly. These are our breathing buddies. So when you're lying down and breathing, you'll see the bunny or your little stuffed animal go up and down. Maddie Taddy is excited to be able to have a relaxation with you guys. So he's gonna lie right here. And luckily he does have a little ducky to go in his belly. So you guys can lie down and get under your blanket if you like. You can put your little stuffed animal on your belly. I'll give Maddie Teddy his ducky. Let's see if you can see him good. There we go. And I'm gonna put on some quiet music for you. So you can lie down just for a few minutes. Your eyes closed with your little breathing buddy.
start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a big stretch. Hang on to your little stuffed animal and you can sit up. So now for the close of our class, we're going to light our yoga candle. So hold up your pointer finger. This will be your yoga candle and light it. Taking a big breath. Gently blow, but don't blow it out. Make it flicker. Hold up your other finger. This is your other yoga candle. You can light it. Taking a big breath. Make it flicker. Put one hand over your heart and one over your belly. Taking a big breath through your nose and let it out. One more time. Breathe in through your nose and let it all the way out. So thanks for doing yoga with us today. I think probably Suzanne will unmute everybody so 